Alexios, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of Chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Alexios. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your sister came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption? Dirty Drachmi? They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, she's impossible to control. She worked her way to the helm, and then she held even more sway than I did. Malaka. So you are after us. Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. This is a lot to take in. But I know you had good intentions. I don't think you lied about that. Never. I thought I could maintain control, but I overestimated myself. It just got away from me. I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? 
Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Demos, and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There will be a movement away from the old gods toward rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So, I let them carry out their plans, and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you, and in the end... You didn't protect him. Maybe he'd be alive if you'd stop them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new Republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. Uh, I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future is not a dream. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Alexios. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. Alexios, there is much left to do now. Alexios! A storm is gone. I can weather any storm.
The watch will be vigilant here. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family... You're all I have left. Mater... There's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Cassandra! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. 
The priests told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home? <laughs> My sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring her back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned her mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Cassandra! When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead, and my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. Cassandra! Listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again. Thank you. 
Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. I don't think the gods can take credit for this one, Barnabas. An urn is only as strong as its potter, Alexios. Urns are pretty easy to break. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Care to visit Paradise, Mystios? Paradise? Does the boat go to Elysium? Oh, to Corfu Island. A land with no work and all play. A vacation destination. Vacation? What's that? Oh, a state of mind where your only responsibility is to get much needed rest. It's a new concept. It does sound tempting. There are no clearer waters than off the coast of Corfu. How about soldiers? Criminals? People. Uh, that's why I really need a break from. <laughs> if there are, they're too busy relaxing. Can I interest you in today's passage? It's just what I need. Vacation. For a couple of days. At least. Ah, uh -huh, then step aboard. Your next destination, Bliss. Ah! <laughs> 
On the rooftop. Malaka. Alexios, what are you doing out there? What does it look like? I'm on vacation. Ah, you've been in the sun too long. You're more bronze than an urn. Come down here. Uh, nonsense. I'm taking in the air. Much needed rest. Okay, bye. What if I told you a... Uh, a mythical treasure awaits, <laughs> huh? What say you then? Nothing I haven't heard before. Well, but an expert like you will find it in no time. The address the needs a tune-up, and I could use the drachmi. Help an old friend. Right. For all time's sake. All right, all right. Just... Just keep your heat on, son. Not as quick on his feet anymore, is he? Hey! What's all this about treasure? Only the most exciting thing to happen to you in ages! I've had enough excitement for a lifetime. This was the last place we thought to look for you on Corfu. What have you been doing all on your own? Nothing, dear Herodotus. And I've had the time of my life. Napping in the day, stargazing at night, and as much wine as I can swallow. That's quite unlike you. The old Alexios, maybe. But the new Alexios has never felt better. Not retiring, are you? As long as there's trouble in this world, I don't see that happening. I've never seen you with a face so sour. Come on now, everybody loves treasure. I'm not really in the mood. I'm a little... <gasps> preoccupied. Not in the mood? Now you're definitely not acting like yourself. And what's so bad about that? I'm fine, really. I just needed to be alone for a while. To think about what's become of my life, and to get away from everyone. No offense. None taken. <laughs> it's true. The burdens you've carried have been heavy. If anyone can shoulder them, it's Alexios. You just need a little distraction from the weight. Say you'll do it. Come on the hunt! For the Adrestia. For me. All right. We'll hunt for treasure. To put some drachmi in your pocket. That's our mystios! <laughs> oh, the loot will be enough for a whole new ship! <clears throat> Legends say there are delicate linens woven by goddesses. Ancient scrolls, one-of-a-kind wares from a far-off land! <laughs> Let's not get too carried away, Barnabas. Oh, right. I won't spoil any surprises. You'll find clues around the island that will lead to treasures beyond imagination. If it's so legendary, I'm surprised no one's found it yet. They've tried for hundreds of years! Well, less than that, but no one has discovered it. Not until we do today. <laughs> we'll see. The only thing this island has a lot of is sand and pirates. I'll go get my gear. With all my old things here, I was starting to forget about them. 
All the people I've met, it's like they follow me around. Physically, and in my head. This sculptor had nothing on Phidias. No, no, no! Damn it! Hoping to not need this for a while. If you want the opposite of a vacation, try Sparta. Time to get back in shape. this letter since Alcibiades sent it to me, months ago.
That should do it. Let's see about these clues. I can't look at the spear without thinking of Prasidas. Intriguing, riveting clues are waiting for you. Barnabas, careful. What? Too much? I should try to stay out of sight. This must be the first clue. Wait, who wrote this? Messy like it was scrawled on a bobbing ship. Just like the hand of Varnavas. 
Legendary treasure, eh? Seems more like Varnavas and Hirodotos thought I was on vacation too long. <laughs> Those two. All right, boys. Where do you want me to go next? playing pirates. Nice touch. Those two outdid themselves. What did you find Let's make this a good fight for our audience, shall we? Not a bad performance. Have you all acted before? We know you know. Oh, what do I know? The treasure. Don't lie. You were sniffing around. Yes, that's what people do when they're on treasure hunts. You'll find it first. Mark my words. I'm guessing that wasn't a play fight. There's no playing with those kinds of riches are at stake. But those clues were written by Hirotodos and Varnavas. Weren't they? What clues? What? What? How do you know about the letter of the treasure hunter? Wait. Let's start over. There's very real treasure on Corfu Island, isn't there? Don't matter. Not when you'll never see it. You'll be locked in there for the rest of your miserable days. We'll see about that. Now, oh, where's my gear? Ah! <laughs> 
Checking out the setting for the lettering to join. I don't want to be spotted here. Here we are. It's in Greek. Also, not. Hope Herodotus can read this. Enough. 
You're alive! I suppose now you'll tell me your treasure hunt wasn't real? Barnabas thought you needed some more adventure in your life. I know you. You're just like me. You live to see the next port, so to speak. I thought it'd do you some good to feel needed again. Good intention or not, warn me when you're going to get me in trouble next time. I'm on Corfu to avoid all that. <laughs> right. <clears throat> A few of our clues still remain on the island if you want to find them. To humor us. 
We put a lot of work into those. Hope a pirate doesn't find them first. Speaking of clues, real clues, I found this letter. Ah, this is written in an ancient Dorian dialect. Uh, I can read parts, but it's not spoken. And most of its stories have died with its speakers. Remarkable. What does it mean? I don't exactly know, but it alludes to a story I heard once. It told of a sunken key in a temple off the coast of Corfu, near a small island. Aha! Oh, keys always unlock. Something! Our hunt isn't over yet. Thank the gods! A sunken key. That doesn't narrow it down when you're surrounded by water. You were a little reluctant at first, huh? Eh? <laughs> but now, this is for real. The three of us will make history! It's not exactly the break I had in mind. I came here to get away from everything, remember? But... But... We're involved now. Whether I like it or not. Oh, that's the spirit! <sighs> Where to? I believe an old colleague of mine, a professor, lives on the island. He may be able to translate the letter's true meaning. I'll see what he knows in Korkirapolis. I'll meet you there. Barnabas, you take him. I'm sure the pirates will be looking for that letter. Affirmative! Then I'll head to the port. Oh, you wouldn't believe the triremes built out of Corfu! So this is turning into Varnabas' vacation, is it? 